welcome back. I've got a little project to share with you guys today. Um, I'm working on a new journal. You may have seen um, me on Instagram post. Um, it's a new course that I'm offering to my sparkling and flourishing patrons. And this is a, a start to finish journal creating this fabric cover with denim and various uh, layers of fabric and so on. And like I said, I'm now at the point where I'm, I'm working on the signature and like I said, we're going to, I've taken this step to step by step so that you can see um, everything that's involved in creating something like this. Um, so this is kind of taken junk journaling to another level and these are just techniques I have learned over the years through trial and error along with techniques that I've been I've um, learned on courses because I invest a lot of money in courses. Um, I think if you're going to be really good at something, you have to spend the money on those things. So um, these are just things I've sh I've learned and um, and now sharing with my patrons. So having said that, I um, am working on some elements to include in this journal, and I thought it'd be fun to try out some new. Uh, little projects, and this is one of them. This is not my idea. This is um, Eva, who is Bohemian Crafting on YouTube. This is one of her projects. I've just tweaked it slightly, but what you end up with is a little flap, and then I've tweaked it and added a, another little pocket here. So you actually end up with four pockets. I, I'll probably say three when I'm showing you, but it will end up four if you do this. And then you've got a pocket here. And then this little flap I have left on mine so that it could be glued to a journal page. And so that could be like the... Let me see if I've got... Get my journal down here. Um, so for example, you could glue that here and this is what it will look like. So that'll flip over and then you'll have this pocket and this pocket. So like I said, it's it's three main pockets but I've added the fourth. But isn't that going to be so pretty in a journal? And th this will <clears throat> be wide. Uh, let me see what it ends up with the width, thinking about it. That's four and a quarter, and my pages are going to be four and a half by six, so that will work perfectly. Um, so let's just get started, because this is going to take some time, guys. There's, it's uh, a lot to do on this one, so let's just jump on in. The first thing you're going to need is a business envelope. And uh, these are the ones that have got the two flaps on the back, so you will have to have this in order for this to work. The first thing we're going to do, I'm going to zoom out, is you're just going to take the ends off of this, which, by the way, this is about take number five. I have had so much difficulty um, in doing this one, so uh, if you are ever thinking, oh, you know, things go smoothly when I film. Believe me, they don't always, and today is a perfect example. I've had so much trouble with this one. Alright, so you open it up, and this is what you're going to end up with. Now, you do not have to have a window to do this project. Um, in fact, Eva did not have window envelopes, but I've got so many and uh, I am not buying any more envelopes. I'm telling you guys, i got enough to last me the rest of my life. Um, so I'm just going to snip those little extra bits off, which is what you'll have once you've cut that. So I refuse to um, buy any more. <laughs> so the next thing you need is your scoring board. And just open, open it up completely. This is the large flap. So this, this is your envelope. You want that large side. Okay. 
over here. And this is where we are going to start. Let me make sure if I got this right. Now. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. So turn it with the large flap at the top. This is why it's taking me so long to do these. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I just had to get my head on straight again. All right, so this is the top flap of the envelope, and here you are going to make a score at a half of an inch. Three and a half inches. And then again at six inches. And just be gentle. If, if you're using the window envelope, just be gentle. Now, bearing in mind, this window is going to be covered up. So, you know, the first time I made it, I put decorative paper, and then I realized, well, it all gets covered up anyway. So, okay, so again, this is your envelope. This is the top flap, is if you're going to close it, you're going to go a half of an inch, three and a half, and six inches. Okay, let's get that out of the way now. And this is where we will start cutting away some of these little bits. So the first thing we want to do is these marks, maybe it'll show better here. These are the scores that we made. You're going to cut each of those down. So that you end up with this. And just go just cut it right to that point, which was the original score line on the envelope when you bought it. Okay, so we've got that cut. Now we're going to flip it over so that we end up with this side. And the first thing you're going to do is just cut out this little corner. Again, just right up to that original mark. Hopefully that will show a little bit better, so you're going to end up with those three. Okay, now the only other place is here. You're going to want to snip this so that you end up with two flaps here. Now is when we're going to start making our pocket. And I'm just going to show you on this one because I'm going to go ahead and cut out our papers. But if you take, this is what your um, envelope looks like now. So now you would fold this up, okay, and just at that score line take your uh, own folder and burnish that. And then this is going to fold over and this to there to form pocket number one. This would drop down, we'll glue that. So that will be your first pocket right here. And then th when this is glued, which will be here, here, and here, that will be your second pocket. But before we get started, that far ahead. Let's go ahead and get our decorative papers because I want to cover this section before we get too far 
because this was one of the problems. I tried to do it, <clears throat> to go ahead and glue it ahead of time, and it it just shows too much of the envelope. We don't want that. So, four and a quarter by about, um, actually, yeah, you're not going to need much, probably about three, four and a quarter by three is what I'll do. I'll just do that whole section there. That's fine. All right, let's get that down, and then you'll start to see this coming together. It's just these large pieces I would recommend you go ahead and do um, before you glue this together. And I would recommend make yourself a template of this so that you can um, just pull it out when you want to make these, because otherwise it is... That's what I started doing on the ones that are a little bit complicated, because um, you will forget. You know, you do, you will. All right, so that's fine now. That's the background of it. I'm happy with that. So now I'm happy for us to go ahead and glue this, and then you can start to see it coming together. So we'll just run a bead of glue here. Bring that over and then put a little bit of glue here because this will all get covered with decorative um, digital paper or scrapbooking paper. If you use scrapbooking paper, I'd recommend the thin stuff because <clears throat> otherwise it's going to get too bulky. Just going to snip that little bit that was left over there. And then now <clears throat> I can go ahead and glue this. And that is our first one and two pockets. Let me get that down. So there's pocket number one and pocket number two. And let's go ahead. Don't worry about all these other uh, flaps right now. Right now just focus on getting this done because otherwise you'll just you'll get yourself in a mess. So four and a quarter by two and three quarter. And I'm using some antique papery papers today because these will all coordinate really nice with this journal because it's, I just want it to be pastels, um, not any one particular color, but just a lot of uh, different shades. All right, so what did I say? Four, four and a quarter. Go two and three quarter on that one. Okay. And I'm not going to worry about um, how did I end up cutting that? Oh, I I know why. Okay, <clears throat> I've got to recut that, guys. That's thrown me off that little bit there. So it does need to be three inches. So. These things happen. Happen a lot to me. Oh, gosh. There we go. That's better. Now, if you um, want to cover that little strip, you can do. I think what I'll probably do is just distress it a little bit. 
and then I'm going to try to sew this if I can get my machine. I, pr I probably won't do that for this tutorial because that I've still got to do some work on this sewing machine. Um, I don't even know if uh, this is why I'm getting so confused what I've said and what I haven't said in this video because I've had to do so many takes of it. Uh, but I'm having issues with my sewing machine. So I probably won't get to stitch this one, unfortunately, guys. Just gonna ink this a little bit. Okay, so there we go. Now flip this over and we're going to get this other bit <coughs> done here. Again, this is the third pocket, so we'll just run. Actually, let's go ahead and get our paper for that. I think I'll do this. So it should be the same. It should be four and a quarter. So let me put that one down and I'll ink it up. And then we can get on. Now, let's put a little bead right there, pull that over, and now let's just put a little bead of glue here, and that's going to form pocket number three. And don't, don't get rid of any of your scraps, because we we'll make some tags and things with those. that there. I was debating between going back to the um, to this one on the bottom. I won't. I won't do that. I'll put I'll put some up there maybe. Okay, so I'm just going to put this on there and then I'll trim around it at the bottom. It'll be easier than trying to cut it. So. I'm just going to trim that away. There is a little bit of the um, envelope showing. I'm okay with that because I can ink that up and it won't even be noticed. Alrighty. <clears throat> so here we are now with this is our little flap, and um, so this one, I, I definitely want it to be this contrasting paper, I think. So this is going 
two and a half. And then I'll just trim it down on the um, After I've got it glued, I'll trim it off so that I get it exact. And then I may as well just use this on this back bit as well because I'll cover um, probably come back and embellish it all over it anyway. So I'm, I want to just make use of all these little bits of paper. I'm trying <laughs> to use everything in a project now because the amount of um, offcuts I've got is just crazy, crazy, so I'm trying to stop myself from just throwing it all in a box that never seems to get used. Alrighty, so that's where we're at at the moment. Now, where's our original one? So you can see I need a tab, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that quickly. I'm actually going to use um, one of the little contrasting. So I think that'll look nice. <clears throat> that looks really pretty. And you know what? I think I'm going to do this one slightly different. I've got this extra little bit. I think I'm just going to put that there and then layer on top of that. Okay, so, <clears throat> oh, I need to cover our little flap as well. Let me do that quickly. And again, I'm just going to uh, I'll use the glue stick, sorry. <laughs> You know, thinking about it, there's no point in me doing both sides of this because it's going to get glued down anyway, so I'm not going to even worry about that other side. That was um, not necessary. Yeah, because if this is glued, to that page that's not going to be seen so yeah I'm not going to worry about that but I can see right now I need to ink that and trim a little bit off there okay so let's ink 
ink this up a bit. Not gonna worry about that. So there we have it, guys. Got we've got a pocket here. I'm gonna make another pocket for that. This will flip over, and we've got one, two pockets. Okay, that's looking good. Let's just get another little pocket there and then thank goodness I finally made it through this. I'll tell you, I don't know, I've just I just really had trouble with this tutorial. Um funny, isn't it? Some days things just um you think they're gonna go smoothly and they don't. I'm just gonna double that up so it it's got a little bit of um, it's a bit more substantial. Just trim a tiny, tiny bit off. So yeah, just trying to make use of all of these bits of paper so I don't end up with them in my scrap pile. Oh gosh, too many scraps left over. Didn't get that straight, sorry. Yep. Okay guys. That is it. I am not going to decorate this one because um, <clears throat> I will do it when I get ready to put it in the journal and that way I can decide <clears throat> excuse me, what, what elements for sure I want to put in there. So, so there it is, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that. I um, <clears throat> hope everybody is staying safe. And Let me just get a drink of coffee. Oh gosh, my throat. I hope you all are staying safe and, um, you know, are finding things to keep your mind off of, of things that are happening in the world at the moment. Hopefully, I don't know, we keep hoping that maybe things will get lifted soon and we can get back to life as we know it. But um, until we do, just keep... Um, Keep finding things, you know, to keep your mind off of it. And, uh, you know, enjoy the autumn while it's here. It won't last very long. But, yeah, our leaves are already starting to come down. But I love autumn. And so I'm just, you know, Paul and I are just trying to make the most of it and going out and doing a few things. And um, I'm probably going to have some new things to share with you guys. I don't know if it will be of interest or not. But... Um, hopefully, you know, very soon I'll have some news to share with you on uh, another thing you might want to have a look at, but I'll keep that top secret for now, just in case it doesn't come, come to be, because I have a lot of plans and they don't always happen, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this little project. Check out Eva's channel, as I said, she's Bohemian Crafting on, uh, YouTube. Uh, she's got some great projects, and, um... I will be back very soon, so take care. Bye.